everyone and welcome to Saturday's morning message, our last morning message for the week. Now for this reading I'm going to use the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed and then I'm going to use the Modern Witch Tarot. So those are the two decks I'm going to use today. If I'm drawn to any others I'll let you guys know as we go along. What do you want Est? Est wants to come and say hi. So, oh, and we've got a Luna. Um, so just for the intro, my name is Emily for those of you who are new to my channel um, and these messages are just kind of morning messages so they're just whatever comes through for today. I do separate love readings every day as well, Monday to Saturday. So you can find, if you just want to look into love, um, watch for love messages but these kind of look into maybe more empowering messages, things that you need to know etc and time is fluid so these messages can occur at any time so don't get hung up on time frames we all know that things happen in divine timing um let us begin right i definitely can't do it with you two there we go so we're going to start with the spirit animal deck let's see what it is we need to hear for today <laughs> i'm showing a slug um, I don't know what the spiritual meaning of a slug is. Um, I'm sure it's not as bad as it sounds. Could be about patience. Could be about taking things slowly right now. And I'm getting nourishment. Make sure you are doing lots of nourishing activities. So let's see. We've got the white raven spirit. Now this is about trusting in the magic of things. It's number 66. So perhaps you're going through a bit of a karmic challenge right now. Maybe you're learning a very valuable lesson, but it could be happening in some ways which perhaps just feel a little bit unpleasant. Because whenever the white raven spirit shows up to me, I always feel like there's lots going on which we can't explain. So this is asking you to just trust the way that things are unfolding for you and believe that your magical opportunities are heading your way. We've got number 32, the hawk spirit. So we've got two birds. Now, the hawk is all about letting spirit guide you. So it's like you do have some very sweet results awaiting. You do have some very good opportunities, but you have to allow yourself to have complete faith in the universe right now. There's something you're dealing with which maybe can't be explained. It perhaps, you know, isn't clear why it's happening or what's next. It might be that you're at a very unknown place right now. And Spirit's saying, look, please just let us guide you through this. Please just let us, you know, assist, you know, trust that we have things under control. Trust that magical things are about to happen in your life. You know, like when a storm comes, it's usually to clear the path. So perhaps you've been through a bit of a storm recently and I always find that these storms come because there's things in our way and sometimes we don't know what to do or sometimes maybe we don't have the tools to create the changes that we need to uh, we need to create. You know, it could be like external factors which could be blocking us, you know, things which are outside of our, our control. So you might have been through a bit of a storm lately and Spirit saying everything is about to start to make sense. I see you kind of like keep moving your head side to side like you don't know which way to look which represents that you don't know what's coming. You don't know what's coming and you also maybe feel a little bit conflicted right now, that's okay. Nine of Pentacles. And look what's on her head, we have a little bird here. And it's interesting, we had two birds come out from a spirit animal deck. So something good is definitely coming. Spirit is trying to guide you in which direction to look at. I feel like you are definitely about to see some kind of um, intentions you set manifest. This is telling me that something's about to be harvested for you. You're about to see growth in an area where maybe you haven't seen growth for a little bit of time. That's perhaps why I'm getting the message about nourishment. It could be about nourishing yourself, but maybe nourishing your goals and ideas as well. We have the Queen of Wands. This is about you doing something quite independent right now. Today's message, it's not about another person. This is about you using your power and getting yourself into that place of complete faith with what is happening in your life right now because something very good is about to come your way. This is going to allow you to express yourself. It's going to allow you to do something very independent. I see um, like a solo journey 
it's like you're going to be embarking on something which is like a personal goal. It's something very, very precious to you. This is something very special, guys. I don't, I don't feel like this, you know, casual energy around this. It's something which is um, very close to your heart. It's like a seed that you planted because it mattered to you. It's important to you. And you're about to move in that direction. You are about to see the result of that little seed and, you know, take it to the next level. Yeah, nine of wands, two nines. Nines always come up when they're telling us we're so close to completion. We're so close to maybe completing a big goal right now. The nine of wands in particular is asking you to, you know, not give up because you've worked really hard to get here. You've put a lot of effort in and you are going to see success. You've definitely been through a bit of a battle lately. This could be a personal battle. It could be with another person or some kind of challenge in your life. But it's like you've um, come out of a war and you're about to get your medal. It's like um, the hero's medal. Ten of Wands. Nine followed by the Ten of Wands. This is telling you just how close to completion you are. The next step is completion. The next step is the medal. The Ten of Wands is also asking you to trust that what you can't see right now is going to make sense. Like I said, magical things are happening in your life, but you can't see you can't see the magic take place. You know, like a magician never never reveals his tricks. That's the energy I'm getting. There's something which you're not really meant to see how this happens or the exact process. But instead, trust that you're going to see the magic trick. You're going to see the end result. Ensure you're not carrying too many burdens, guys. I feel this real pressure on my shoulders and on my uh, on the top of my head. So it's like something is very clearly weighing you down right now. Something feels very heavy. Is there a way that you can let this go? Is there some kind of burden that you're holding on to right now, which is actually bringing you just stress? Like perhaps you don't need to carry this burden with you at all. Okay, let's see what is coming your way. Ace of Wands, if I can pick it up. Ace of Wands. This is the medal. This is the harvest. The Ace of Wands is saying that you're going to have a new opportunity to do something you're very passionate about. This could be a new venture. It could be like a new business venture, um, a new hobby, a new interest. It's something that you are ready to create. You're ready to do this. This is all about you using your power and taking this opportunity, this harvest, and doing something with it. You know, the last kind of, well, today, yesterday, and even Thursday's morning message was all very empowering messages. I feel that you are about to do something which is very empowering to you. And this is like some kind of action that you are taking. It's like the opportunity comes your way and you seize the opportunity and you really run with it because you realize this is gonna get you a lot closer to your dreams. Three of Wands. It's an opportunity for expansion. This is gonna get you to, from A to B. So I see there's um, some kind of movement in your life where perhaps you are literally looking at a location move or you're looking into the future being like, Do you know what, that's what I want to, to get towards. That's my end goal. So over the next kind of couple of days, I even feel, I don't feel a long time frame for this reading. So I always kind of say, you know, the, the times that I'm feeling. And I feel within the next kind of nine, 10 days here, the next week and a half, you're going to feel very inspired about your future. You're going to feel like, do you know what? That is exactly where I want to move to. That is the goal that I want to complete. That's the challenge that I want to overcome. You're, you're, um, it's like you're completing one harvest and you're ready to plant seeds for the next 
or you're ready to take this harvest and do something with it which you feel inspired to do. This is inspired action, I feel. So there's um, some kind of way for you to, to cross this bridge. There's basically an opportunity for you to get to the other side. And I really actually feel, guys, that the grass is greener on the other side. Whatever it is you're looking towards, you know, we always hear kind of like, People think the grass is greener on the other side and then they realize it wasn't. I feel here, it actually is. But whatever it is you're looking towards, that's a very good opportunity. It's something that, um, it, it's gonna bring about like a very different, maybe lifestyle. I feel lifestyle changes. Let me just get a couple more. Yeah, just this. This is like a new contract, a new contract, a new opportunity, a new connection. We've got the star as well. You've been waiting for the, this wish to come true. There's a wish here that you've been waiting to be granted about a new life. Um, so if you're looking at moving, like I said, I see you get an opportunity to move, maybe like sell your home, buy another, um, buy a second property or a third, or I see you looking at maybe starting a business or getting a new job contract. Um, it's like there's something you very clearly wanted, which you feel is that next step for your life to move in. It's the, the right direction for you. And that is a hundred percent what is heading your way. So over the coming days, I see you ready to take action towards that. I'm not saying in the next 10 days you're going to be selling your home and moving. Um, I just feel you're going to know very clearly how to get there. And not only that, you're going to be taking the first step um, or the second step if you've already taken the first. There's just a lot of action taking place in the coming um, 9, 10 days where it seems like you're starting to see results. So guys, um, please let me know in the comments what this is about. What is the intention you've set? What are you harvesting in the coming days? What are the next steps for you? And basically what's the end goal? Because um, this feels like something very big for your life. It feels like a lot of you are making some really big lifestyle changes and choices. So do let me know what these are. Don't forget, please like this video if it resonated. And don't forget to hit subscribe to show your support to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this week's morning messages as well as our edition of the um, daily love messages as well. So let me know how you guys are finding those. I'll actually post something in the community section um, so that you guys can give me some feedback. Um, and I hope that the morning messages are definitely helping those who maybe want to focus a bit less on love and relationships. Um, and these kind of provide a bit more of an empowering message. So they're not going to be for everyone, but I do hope you guys have just enjoy enjoyed this little change, um, you know, which I've done. So yeah, give me some feedback and I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. I'll see you back here tomorrow for our weekly twin flame reading. So this, you know, looks um, specifically into like twin flame connections or soulmate connections, which have maybe like the karmic lessons that twin flame ones do. Um, so yeah, I'll see you back here tomorrow and then we'll be back on Monday with our next morning message. Bye.